Alrighty, welcome everybody to a Ymir build that was much, much requested and be more specific, a tank build. So, um, things I'm going to be going over in this video are some, you know, optional items, starting off items in different game modes, uh, and things like that. So, um, let's go right into it. So, uh, first I've been picking up Shoes of Focus on all my tanks, and this build overall you can apply it to all your Guardians if you wish. I mean, it, it works really well. I mean, this is pretty much the, the items that I use. Uh, so the reason why I've been getting Shoes of Focus, the, you know, cooldown boots over at the Reinforced Greaves outside of Conquest. This is outside of Conquest. Okay. So, uh, reason why is because I don't really like, like it, it's not that much compared to, like, I, I personally like the 15% cooldown reduction, um, and I don't have to worry about, you know, if, you can go, like, Reinforced Greaves and Breastplate of Valor. I don't really like that too much. Um, I much rather have the Shoes of Focus because of the magical power and the 50% cooldown reduction um, rather than the Reinforced Greaves. That's my own personal opinion. You can also get the Reinforced Greaves if you want to. Um, but I just I really like having that much cooldown reduction at movement speed early on in the match uh, versus, you know, uh, buying Breastplate of Valor. A second item and reason why you'd want to get Hide the Urchin early is because it's a stack item if you do not know this already uh how the urchin it's a really really great item uh as far as if you want to go bruiser you can buy this item and that allows you to have another slot to dedicate it to damage rather than another defense because this item in whole offers a lot a lot of uh, physical and magical protection it's also great for tanks you know because you just you're that much more tanky so again the second um i do have all 10 stacks on right now now um Next, Sovereignty, this is a really, like, this is a core item for all tanks, like, you almost have to have this, uh, it's just, it's such a great item, HP is, is really high, physical protection is really high, also, if you do not know already, the aura also applies to you, so you get that bonus physical and magical protection of 20, so that does apply to you, and also your teammates, uh, that are in, you know, good range. Uh, Bark of Hope is another really great magical protection item. Um, mainly reason is because the HP magical protection. Now, if you're fighting against healers or high health regeneration gods like Hercules, Vamana, Shock, you want to go Pestilence over Borok of Hope. Um, now, let's say if you're fighting a more heavy magical uh, team, I would just pick up Stone of Gaia um, instead of maybe like Hide the Urchin or whatever. Uh, as far as starting out in Assault, if I'm fighting against quite a few mages in Assault, I pick up Stone of Gaia first because high magic protection, that, that is one. Uh, Ymir in, a, in, a, in, a, him, in himself, if I can speak, uh, he has high you know, physical defense scaling as well, so you're not going to be missing that much. Uh, but it's mainly the HP 5 and MP 5 of the Stone of Gaia, which is going to help you sustain really, really well in Assault as Ymir. Uh, I pretty much pick this up on all my tanks if I'm fighting against, you know, a few mages. If you're not fighting against many mages or just one mage in assaults, I would just pick up either uh, Sovereignty as my first item or pick up Hide of the Urchin as my first item. Uh, those are, you know, all fairly decent starter items in Assault. Uh, moving along, Void Shield. Of course, if you don't have any other mages on your team, don't pick this up because you won't get too much use out of the passive on this. Um, but if you do have a few, you know, at least two mages on your team, Void Shields can be really useful. Uh, for one, you get magical protection, you know, tank. Uh, magical power, of course, who doesn't want that? Uh, and also the passive, like I said earlier, is also going to act like penetration. Uh, whenever you, you know, you use your freeze at a close distance, you use your ice carpet, your two at a close distance. I mean, your ulti even. So the Void Stone is going to apply to all your enemies, reducing their magic protection by quite a bit, uh, with the, the Void. Now, Ethereal Staff. It offers you no protection, but Ymir specifically, he can get away with this because, like I said, he has high scaling. And then also we have that um, Hide the Urchin I picked up early, if you remember, so that's going to give us quite a bit of protection there in itself, so we can buy Ethereal Staff. Uh, this thing is a beast. 600 HP, 300 mana, uh, 30 magical power, and the passive, oh boy, oh boy, the passive, especially on Ymir because he's such high HP scaling. You get quite a bit of magic power if you haven't told already in our uh, stats on the bottom left. Now, as far as actives, uh, greater blink definitely a must. Don't get combat blink; it's 180 seconds. That you—that's you're gonna be in a long waiting time period if you want to blink in the freeze ulti with somebody. 
Uh, so Greater Blink, definitely buy this one, only 45 second cooldown. Now, uh, Creeping Curse is really great for tanks. It adds like another big AoE CC. Uh, if you've been cursed, the difference, if you don't know the difference between these two, you should. Uh, if you have the curse, it reduces the enemy's attack speed. So if you're fighting, it's you know an assassin and a hunter, you know, is high attack speed oriented gods. Uh, definitely get a female curse. If you're fighting healers or whatever, weaken a curse. You want to go with that because that reduces the healing by 100%. Um, now as far as starting off with conquest and support, uh, you want to start with the start item. Go to Watcher's Gift. This is definitely a must if you're going to start as a support role and conquest in the duo lane. Uh, main reason is the passive when a friendly god kills a lane, which would be your ADC typically. Uh, a minion near you also gain the last hit bonus. So you want your hunter to be fed because he's an ADC. He's going to carry. He's you know supposed to carry the match. You know do a lot of damage. Um, so you want to get him or her as fed as possible. And you just kind of sit back. You're not really supposed to clear the lane that much. Don't waste your mana and abilities on mini waves. You want to use that so you can initiate fights in your lane and also go roaming across the map and doing ganks that way. Also, your gold per 5, which is gold per 5 seconds, is increased by 1. So that's going to help you out quite a bit. Uh, and then as far as boots, so like after Watcher's Gift, I pick up uh, Midas Boots. This is the meta right now for supports. And it's been a meta for a while. Uh, so after you get Watcher's Gift, pick up Midas Boots. The reason why is the gold per 5 is increased by 5. Uh, that's really good because uh, some people may or may not know this. Guardians, you know, supports whatever in the duel lane conquest. They typically sit... Like the furthest behind as far as XP and gold, uh, especially if you do not have Watcher's Gift and Midas Boots. Uh, so I mean, if you're not caught up in gold or XP or whatever, I mean, this doesn't help you with XP wise, but it's going to help you with gold wise. Uh, if you're behind in gold, you're it's going to be a hard time for you tanking. Uh, so this is going to help you out overall as far as that. So if you look at our HP bar, like above my Ymir character here, that HP bar looks disgusting. So it's 4,290 HP. That's a lot of HP. That's a, that's a scary tank. 206 magical power with 239 physical defense, 243 magical defense. Of course, if you want to focus corely on just defense, you don't care about doing any sorts of damage, uh, I would just go ahead and sell like Void Stone, just sell that bad boy, uh, and pick up something like, you can pick up Pestilence if you want. That's going to give us some, even more HP. Uh, or you can pick up Stone of Gaia. Uh, if you don't care that much about the HP part, you can, you know, sell Ethereal Staff and buy another physical item. You could buy, like, a whatever, hide. You, I mean, you can go that route. The HP drops down to, like, 4,190. But if you look at this, we, we dumb ourselves down to, like, 50 magical power, 318 uh, physical defense, which I think that's really close to the cap. The cap is, like... 325. So we basically reach cap with physical defense and our magical is at 250. You know, always adjust yourself accordingly to who you're fighting against. You know, don't be afraid to try different things. Like, not every match is always going to be the same as, you know, a different match and, you know, fighting different people. So uh, I'm just going to do some just minor damages here so you can uh, see. I don't, I don't want to make the video too long. So, I mean, I mean that's that's pretty nice damage there. Uh, pull up the abilities so you can see the, the damages here and the cooldown reductions. It's, it looks all really good. So, I mean, especially as ulti. His ulti does so much damage. Um, so, yeah. And if you don't know, you can pop his ulti early if you just hit 4 again. Some people don't know that. So, uh, that's going to wrap it up for you. Uh, hope this helps you guys out. See you guys next time. Peace.